Hi friends, welcome to the other 167. I'm so happy and glad that you've been liking our messages videos that our friends are bringing to you from all across the globe. And uh, today we have a very special speaker once again. Her name is Vijaya Fernandez, and she's here to speak today to you about the promises of God and how you need to hold on to them to see the future. So without wasting time, let's dive in and hear what she has to say. Hello friends, welcome to the other 167. Today I'm going to talk about promise keeping God. In 1989 there was an earthquake in Armenia around 30000 people died in less than 4 minutes There was a father who was looking for his son in the midst of this destruction in this chaos he went to his child's school when he came there he saw a shapeless heap of rubble what must have gone through his mind He saw the other parents walking around dazed calling out the name of their children all he knew was he made a promise to his son that he would be there for him he ran to the back of the building where his son's classroom used to be and he began to dig as he began digging the well meaning parents tried to pull him out of the rubble saying it's too late they are all dead there's nothing you can do you can't help go home the fire chief came saying fires and explosions are happening everywhere you are in danger go home finally the police came they said you are angry you are distraught it's all over go home this father knew in his heart he had to keep his promise had love for his son and this love made him dig 8 hours 12 hours 24 hours 36 hours then at 38 hour he heard a voice of his son crying for help immediately he screamed armen he got a reply back saying dad i knew you would come i knew you would come and keep your promise I told the other children if my father is alive he will come to save us a determined dad kept his promise the bible is filled with the promises of god god is a promise keeping god when god makes a promise to his children it will come to pass amen god promised david i will establish your kingdom through your offspring god kept his promise by giving david an offspring named jesus the kingdom of jesus is eternal amen in the natural it was very difficult for this promise to come to pass because people sinned they disobeyed they rebelled against god but god still kept his promise if god makes and keeps promises over hundreds and thousands of years we can trust him today amen I remember when our second child Ruth was born she was immediately taken to the NICU because of a medical condition I was sitting in the hospital room disappointed the lord reminded me of this promise from the book of proverbs if you faint in the day of adversity your strength is small god was encouraging me to stay strong god was encouraging me to trust in his promises from that time onwards Whenever my husband and I we went to meet Ruth in the NICU we would speak the promises of God upon Ruth we would say you will not die but you are going to live and declare the works of God we would say that with long life Jesus has satisfied you and shown you his salvation every time we would go to see her we would speak the promises of God what happened within 2 days Ruth was shifted from the NICU to the normal ward. She was completely fine. 
and the next day she was discharged from the hospital a god is a good god he is a promise keeping god i want to encourage you no matter what you are believing god for take the promises of god from the word of god about your situation and start speaking and declaring the promises of god and god is able to fulfill his promises the bible says we need to hold fast the confession of our hope without wavering because god who promised is faithful finally i want to end with this god is not a man that he should lie nor a son of man that he has to repent has he said and will he not do has he spoken and will he not make it good god is a good god he is a promise keeping god god bless you i'll see you next time Wow, I'm sure you enjoyed that video, the promises of God. If you're going through a tough time, if you're going through a bad phase in your life, this video said it all, the message in it, you need to cling to the promises of God. Don't give up. Hang on there. Just obey the Lord's word and hang on to the promises of God because there is something that is coming very soon to you. which is bigger than what you think that you deserve so hang on to the promise of god and if you like the video share it to your friends and family like the video subscribe to our channel and invite many of your friends to come and watch the video on a daily basis and don't forget to hit that bell icon so that you get notified of all our videos in the coming days if you have any questions or want to be part of our channel do write to us on the email id as shown on the screen and don't forget to follow us on facebook and instagram for now to later shalom